change. They were on a bench getting some water. We got to stop this team. Here they come with a reverse. Back to the quarterback. They're going to throw downfield wide open. This might be a touchdown. To the 10, down to the 5. It is a touchdown for Albany. A bit of trickery, and they beat the Penguin defense. That's Cole King, a sophomore wide receiver. They pitched it to the tailback. He gave it to a wide receiver, pitched it back to Fiocchi, and Cole King was 25 yards behind any Penguin defensive back. Albany leads 7-0, Penguins marching. I formation, give it to Cook, and left side, Cook, and did he get in? Yes, touchdown, Jermaine Cook off the left side, and the Penguins an extra point away from tying this one at seven. Take it and give it to Cook. Cook up the middle. He's going to have the first down, and boy, he's going to get the touchdown. He ran over a defender at the two-yard line, and Jermaine Cook has his second rushing touchdown today. Will Fiocchi going to take it and run it, and they've got room to the left side. Down to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown on third down and six. Omar Osborne off the left side. He may not have been touched into the end zone for the score. Line and gets the play. Still a lot of time on the play clock. 3.42 to go in the quarter. We are tied at 14. Jermaine Cook now the tailback. Caver and Williams, the two wideouts. They're going to run it inside to Cook. Cook looks to go wide, down to the five, and Cook's going to get in for the score. He got to the outside, beat the quarterback to the perimeter, and Jermaine Cook has his third rushing touchdown of the afternoon. Any a stoppage in play could run out the clock. Fiocchi fakes, he rolls, he got a man open to the five, into the end zone, well-designed play. They faked a run to the right, threw back to the left, and Drew Smith, the tailback, caught it out of the backfield, and Albany is a conversion away from tying this game at 21. Fought all he could to uh, just get to the eight yard line. So here comes the field goal. Dante Nanya, backup quarterback, will hold. Hash mark to the right. Ball down. Brown has the kick up, has the distance, and has the accuracy. So at 2.15 to go in the quarter, Penguins lead 24 21. Paul Layton will need a great punt for Albany. Stubbs standing at midfield. Penguins lead 24 21. Five and a half minutes to play. Good snap, and it's blocked. Penguins block the pit. It bounces at the 25 and down at the 29-yard line. YSU charged in, and they block the punt, and the Penguins are going to have great field position. They're going to take it and give it to Pace. Left side, touchdown, Torian Pace. He got outside on fourth and goal inside the one, and Pace extends the lead out to 30-21. to 21. And that's that offensive lineman mentality from Coach Wolford. He always says you can't block a touchdown. Good snap, ball down. Kick is up from 31, has plenty of distance, and the kick is through the uprights. So Albany gets the field goal, 31-24. From the University at Albany. One more snap, two, two uh, snaps, two taking a knee by Kurt Hess. That will do it. Albany will not burn their last time out. Bob Ford and Albany, well done. Your football team came in here and played a terrific game today. The YSU survives, and now the focus can begin on Northern Iowa, who was trailing at last report 27-16 at Iowa. I will tell you this, YSU's going to, I don't care what happens today in that game, YSU's going to have to play much, much better next Saturday night to beat the Panthers. Well, they're going to have to come and bring their A game against Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa has dominated that series. They haven't lost a YSU since Jim Trestle's last season. And the Panthers will be up against it if they come in here 1-2 and two next Saturday night to take on YSU.